Hey guys, <clears throat> uh, it's Tasha here from Art Song and Soul, and I just wanted to show you how I've been making these beautiful bling centers. Um, I'm going to use them for my flowers because I'm always looking for new things to adorn my um, flowers with, but you can use them for <clears throat> any kind of embellishment. And they're so easy, guys, and all you're going to need is some acetate. You can use card, but I'm using acetate so that you can't see the card um, in between the gems. And some double-sided tape and um, something to punch your base out of. And I've used a uh, just a circle punch, but I actually broke mine just like five minutes ago. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I make these ones. I'm also using um, hot fix crystals and some flat pack pearls. But um, if you don't have hot fix crystals, you know the bling that you can get and all that kind of stuff, you're, you know, it's fine. So first of all, I just grab my acetate and I um, just put a strip of this double-sided tape on it. Like so. So, and then I just go ahead and punch my circles out <clears throat> along there. And like I said, I just broke mine, so I've got two here. Really easy. Um, this amazing tip that my um, that retail girl Louise from Retail Girl told me, because she does a lot of sort of mosaic work with the flat back pearls. You want to go check them out. I will put the links down below to our Facebook page. Um, but she puts a little bit of blue tack on the end of a pencil or um, on the end of a stick. I couldn't find my blue tack, so I've just stuck um, one of those, um, the big glue dots, and I just sort of squished it around the end here. And that is so that you can pick up your little crystals easily because um, they're really hard to pick up, especially if you've got these nails on you so um, once you've got your little circles all you do is you just peel your um, the backing off like that and then you basically just stick your um, your little gems and blings and pearls and stuff in, in a whatever pattern you like <clears throat> I'm going to make this one So I just need to put a, oops, oh, that's dumb, I just need to put a bling in the, the middle. I'm a bit snivelly today guys, I'm really sorry, I've had the flu for, well it actually feels like ages, I don't know what's going on, but, so, and then you just go about and, um, well you just make patterns really, I've just made all kinds of patterns. Uh, I just gonna go now. When you put these on, don't press them down fully until you've um, put all your crystals on. And um, the reason for that is sometimes you get to the end and you can't fit um, the next pearl or bling in properly. And um, when they're not stuck down properly, you can they've got a bit of give and you can kind of um, move them around a little bit. But this one, yay, is actually going to work out. Oh. So I hope you guys can see. This tool is so magical. You can just pick up all your gems with it and stick them on. So... When I've got them like that, I just sort of push them all in and press them down to make sure they're good and stuck. Now with this one, if I wasn't showing you guys, if I had more time, I'd probably put even smaller little um, blings in these little gaps and um, that's where you might like to have a bigger circle, obviously. Um, see in this one I've got the little smaller ones in between but I just wanted to quickly show you how easy peasy that is and you've got a beautiful little gem um, if you want to when you um, do your circles if you want to put um, 
tape on the back as well that's quite good because then you can just um, peel the backing off and stick it on but I would use hot glue as well because this is a slick surface so um, and then after that I have been coating mine because you want to make sure that your gems are stuck at the moment I just grabbed this glass color stuff it's glass varnish but um, that's because I was in a hurry and that's what I grabbed but I probably would just use a Mod Podge or Glossy Accents or something like that just to sort of seal it and make sure these um, little gems are on there forever well just to make sure they're stuck on there you want to make sure that um, whatever you use Mod Podge or Glossy Accents sort of seeps into the little gaps like that and that is it guys that is how I've been making these gems and like I said you can build them up however you want to I've used coloured hotfix crystals with these uh, these hotfix crystals have got a little gold edging around them um, on this one I've used some pearl uh, some little tiny pearl beads and some crystals on these ones I've used some um, seed beads and it's basically just making patterns and I love doing that so this was kind of like a new addiction for me so these ones I've used little rice pearls and as you guys know I might have mentioned this before but I can't remember but I get all my blings and my flatback pearls from Retail Girl here in New Zealand and I'll put her links down below if you want to go grab some but I just thought that's a nice way to um, make your own embellishments and use up some of your blings and um, I sort of like my crafts to be handcrafted by me from, from go to woe so this was um, a great idea for me and the other thing I wanted to quickly show you is I've been making my own little um, trims and I thought these would be great for layouts and it's the same idea with the double sided tape I just take my acetate and um, like for this one here I've put double sided tape on the front and back so that when I go to use this on a card or a layer I can just peel the backing off and you want to make sure you seal these all with some Mod Podge or glossy accents or something as well um, so yeah I just take my double sided tape and put it on my acetate turn it over and put it on the other side as well um, I'll just make a short sort of one and I just cut them um, depending on how um, wide you want your trim is how wide you cut your strips and you'll spend a little bit more time on this than I am so here we have our strip and we just pick one side off so we have it like that and then once again you just go about putting your yummy goodies where you want I'm just gonna do a really simple one I've got these little flat back hearts Um, and you just go along and create your pattern I think this is really good if you've got layouts or cards and you want some bling on there that coordinates with your project so there um, I'm probably going to go ahead and put um, little tiny gems in the little gaps or but you know you can make any pattern that you like so let's give you one more look at this one 
and you want to make sure you seal these around. I think these would be all right on a layout for these trims, but you know, you want to make sure they're stuck on there. You don't want gems falling off everywhere. So there we go, guys. Make sure you make you one of these nifty little tools for picking up all your blings and gems. I know there are tools out there, but I'm kind of like, if you can make something, go ahead and do that. So I just wanted to show you quickly how to make these beautiful bling centers. I hope you guys have a go at making them and um, come up with your own combos. And I love it how you sort of uh, get inspired by something and then you do it yourself and then the more you do it, it sort of grows and then all of a sudden you end up with something original and beautiful. This one I've got a little resin rose in the middle. So yeah, I will put all the links to where you can get these um, crystals and flatback pearls down below as well as links to where you can find me and um, follow my crafty journey and keep up with all my crafty carry-ons. Um, make sure you uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it and want to see more um, crafty stuff. And um, also come over and check out my blog, which I've also been neglecting lately, and my Facebook page where we can hang out and all that kind of things. I post a lot of stuff up on my Facebook page that I don't necessarily do a video on, so make sure to come over and check that. And pop by our Retail Girl page and make sure you like us over there so you can find out where you can get all this yummy goodness. Um, vintage buttons, filigrees, um, rosette trims, flowers, you know. I'm trying to, sorry if this sounds a little bit like an ad, guys, but I just want you guys to know where I get all my goodies from. Um, so that's it from me um, for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, um, yeah, that's about it. I will see you in the next video. Happy crafting, guys, all day, every day.